This channel is supported by Truefire. Truefire is an online library of lessons from some of my favorite players. There's thousands of lessons on there. You can use the promo code JNC40 to get 40% off of any of their courses. I've been using Boss Waza Airs to practice downstairs uh, silently for quite a while. There's not really a good way to record those. And so I asked Boss, who've asked me to create some tone sets, if they'd mind sending me a Katana head. They sent the Katana Artist Mark II. A couple of things about this which are kind of different. Um, you've got an IR which you can put on on the back, uh, or, you know, like Boss's version of an IR. Uh, you've got a solo setting, which is really useful, actually, you saw me using it in the intro there. It just basically gives you a boost on any of your channels. Um, you've also got presence on the front, as well as the cab settings. Uh, I might have missed some other bits and pieces, but essentially the tones generally... Oh, it's got a global EQ as well. The tones generally across the Katana series are equivalent, and the models are the same, and the amount of effects are the same. There's just a few different settings. I quite like the idea of the Katana head, because then you could try it into different speaker cabs, um, you know, whether you end up buying the actual Waza speaker, or whether you go into something like an EVM 12, I might try that at some stage, or whatever favorite speaker you've got. Now, I've put together eight tones for this. My favorite amp on here is actually the lead, um, and that one to me is what I use in the Wazas most of the time, just sounds really good. I wanted also to show off that it can sound really decent direct. So that same idea of having fun without making loads of noise that I get with the Wazas, I wanted to have with the Katana. So that's what you heard in the intro there. No processing on the tones or anything like that. Um, if you want to go stereo with this, you can use the USB recording out, um, but I'm just using the line out straight into my DAW. Um, but yeah, let's just go through some of the, the tones quickly. Um, you can grab the tones on the Boss Tone Exchange, which is a really cool little resource. Um, Studio Rats in particular might be, Paul has some great tones for Katana on there that you might want to check out. So um, let's go for it. This is the kind of clean tone that I dialed in. <laughs> See if you press solo on here, which you could have on a foot switch, 
It just basically takes whatever you've got and makes it louder, really useful. Uh, okay, other things that I dialed in, kind of just like a rhythmy, chunky. <laughs> So just designed to kind of be your kind of rocky rhythm tone. Then I've got my channel two, which is my main kind of lead tone. So yeah, that's got a bit of reverb, a bit of delay on it. Oh, it doesn't even have reverb on it. Just delay uh, and a booster going into the lead. Um, but yeah, to me, it's a pretty unfussy tone. And then on kind of bank B, uh, I've got some other things going on. So I tried just dialing in something with the acoustic. This would probably work better with a piezo style pickup, but... just a really kind of crystal clean. Um, then uh, channel four, I kind of dialed in something a bit more voxy. That's just showing what you can get done with the crunch amp. It doesn't necessarily have to be loads of gain. Uh, it can sound really cute and really quite a nice thing. Uh, two, we've got the clean amp variation with a bit of a boost. <laughs> But yeah, trying to kind of do something with a little bit of slapback um, that could be, you know, somewhere a little bit of a boosted clean tone. Then... This is like a bit of a higher gain Marshall style tone. So yeah, those are some, you know, a, a flavour of some of the tones that I dialed in. Um, in particular, I'm a big fan of the lead tone. <laughs> So I hope you find something useful there. I think the Katana can sound really, really decent direct, in particular the lead amp and the clean amp I'm a huge fan of. Um, I really think they got those tones right 
and uh, again on the Waza Airs that's what I'm using all of the time just a, a smidge of EQ on there maybe you know a bit of delay and a bit of reverb you can have a ton of fun and so yeah jump onto the Boss Tone Exchange if you want to try these out uh, they should work across all of the Katana Mark IIs um, I'm using the just the normal kind of air type feel um, and I'm not using the global EQ and I think I've got it on the modern cab setting um, if you want to get as close to, as possible to this. These are designed to work really well direct, so that's what you're hearing in this video. Um, I'm not sure how they'll sound to a speaker. I hope that was useful for you. Feel free to like and subscribe. If you've got ideas for katana tones that you want me to try and tackle, let me know in the comments and I can try and do that. Cheers for stopping by.